All right, guys. I'm still in Montana. This is what they got me in for today. I don't even know what this is. I think this is a Mac. You guys can leave it below in the comments. It's not a bad truck. This is a, uh, it is a single joystick though. I got a little bit of experience with it. I haven't been uploading videos recently because I'm in Montana doing an SOS for the company. The views are nice. It's hot though. This thing's actually not bad. It's super old though. It is a diesel. This thing runs hard. It packs really good too. And the weird setup is this is like a commercial slash resi. Because this also has a resi side. As you can see, remember this isn't my truck, so all the trash that you see, this is not mine. It's a freaking crap show in here. But this is what you gotta deal with being a floater. Look at the gear selects, super dirty. But the truck still runs pretty damn good. The AC blows cold, surprisingly. Normally a lot of the trucks don't even run. And the AC doesn't work either. This thing's been through a lot. It only has like 87,000 miles on it. You would have thought it had more. I got done pretty early today. I figured I'd show you guys what I was working with. Here, let me show you the other side. This is a cluster. At the time you can barely even read it. This is the joystick for the front load. It does run off air. And then um, the resi stick on this side too. Which is weird, I've never seen a truck like this before. Um, this is my backup camera. This is the controls. This big green one will pack the blade. And then the uh, AC is coming from here. It doesn't look the best, but it runs great. It's crazy. And you would have thought it would have been falling apart already. Only bad thing is, with it being air and so old, when I'm dumping cans, it's not really responsive. It takes a long time. I'll do one more walk around for you guys. I don't like this. This is this is awkward. When you gotta get in and clean behind the blade, it's stepping on it sideways. And there's not really any good handles to climb up. The one at the top, but that's a long reach difference. The tires are definitely super different out here when we crawl through those landfills. This thing is a piece of history. <laughs> this thing's probably older than me. Look at this. Jeez, this thing's been through everything. You can see the surface rust on it. Lots of rust. They get a lot of snow up here in Montana, I guess. It is loaded. I'm done with the route for the day. About 60 stops. Cardboard only. I want to be able to get a... Uh, get some blade action for you guys, but I'm not too confident on where I can put the camera at. I don't want to destroy it. And I have to go buy another camera. I'll show you guys one more time on this side again.
Now, I haven't had to use the resi mode yet. I don't think I'll be getting the chance to do that. But this is pretty interesting. Now, I'm curious on if this is the resi side. Where is the, uh, the claw grabber? Like this one over here. Because this is not going to be... Unless the left button is the claw, the right button is to close it, and then bring it up with the bucket like that for the carotid can. I don't know. I don't think I want to find out either. Well guys, that's the video. Stay tuned for the next one.